Okay, so this uh, next section, uh, we'll just run through um, selection testing and uh, admissions, how to apply um, for a place at Skipton Girls um, High School. Um, so um, probably the thing that, that we're really good just to refer back to, which is on the website, um, there is a document called the Admissions uh, Arrangements Information for Entry September 2022. So this gives full details about um, selection testing, how to apply, what sorts of things are in the, in the selection testing process, um, some key dates, and also all the information around then how you apply um, to your local authority for a place through the common application form, um, and also all the information about oversubscription criteria, um, that sort of thing. Um, so what I'll run through is I'll run through the, the sort of process um, for applying for a place um, um, in this little um, sort of section. Um, and we think this is for year current year five students um, who will be going into year six um, in September. Um, so we'll be sitting the selection test uh, in September um, and then applying for a place um, to start in year seven in uh, September 2022. Um, okay, so some key dates, uh, these are all in the booklet, but some key dates. Um, selection testing registration closes at 4 p.m. on Monday the 30th of August. So that's kind of the first step if you're looking for a place um, at Skipton Girls High School for um, next September, September 2022, you must have registered um, for the selection testing by the Monday the 30th um, of August. Uh, what will happen after that in uh, around the 13th of September, registration cards are sent out and they're the two, two cards that students and parents will need to bring on the day of selection testing. Um, selection testing itself happens on Saturday the 25th of September. Uh, following that, by Monday the 11th of October, um, we send out results of that. So that basically says whether a student has or hasn't met the required standard. Uh, if they've met the required standard, it means they can then apply through the common application form for a place um, at the school. And the deadline for the common application forms is the 31st of August. So that's the form that you have to fill into your local authority, um, regardless of which school um, you're, you, or schools you're putting down as your choice. It goes to your local authority. That's the standard deadline um, across the country. But again, that is really explained in the booklet. OK, so because we are a, um, a selective school, we run selection testing and students have to have met the required standard in order to apply um, for a place at the school. Um, so once you've registered and registration happens uh, via the website, so you can find the link on the admissions page um, on, the, on, the, on the website, um, you'll be sent in advance of testing day um, some details of the day. Um, but testing has three components to it. Um, so during the morning, um, students will sit a 50 minute uh, mathematics um, test, 50 minute English test, and uh, a 50 minute verbal reasoning test. Um, obviously there's breaks in between. If your child has access arrangements, so special educational needs that, that, that mean they have access arrangements, um, we'll be in touch uh, about how you let us know about those things. Um, and you know, obviously we will put in, in, in place those access arrangements um, as appropriate. Um, in the pack here, but also there's some links on the website to this, there are familiarisation materials. Um, so they actually show examples of what the sort of tests look like. Uh, and it's really important. I would really recommend that students who are, are coming to sit the selection testing spend a little bit of time going through those just so you're kind of familiar with the sort of format and layout um, of the tests um, that we use. OK, so once you've sat the test, as I say, a few weeks later, we send you uh, the results of that. Um, and whether or not students met the required standard. Um, that happens in time before the 31st of October deadline for you to submit um, your choices um, to your local authority of secondary school. Um, so that means you, you, you do your application for that, knowing whether or not um, students met the required um, standard. OK, so um, just a couple of bits then around when you fill out the common application form. These are quite important. They are, again, they're explained in the booklet again. Um, so there is a first preference rule around um, when uh, applying for places at um, grammar schools. And that is basically if you put uh, a grammar school, or skips, skips and Girls High School in this case down as your first preference and you didn't get a place, the local authority automatically has to treat your second preference as if it was your first preference. Because that's, cool, that's quite important to know. Um, and the second thing that's just quite important to mention, um, if you do put Skipton Girls High School down as your second choice, it's probably unlikely you'll get a place just due to we are significantly oversubscribed every year. So that's a choice for parents, but you just need to be 
um, aware of that. Um, there are some worked examples of that in the book that go through that. Okay, in the booklet, there's also de details of our oversubscription criteria. So that's how places are allocated if we are oversubscribed. And historically, we've always been significantly um, oversubscribed for places. So it's worth just reading through that. Um, so particularly, you'll see at the kind of top of the admissions criteria, looked after children, pupil, premium, um, student second. So if you're in those categories, that's also worth um, knowing as well. It also talks in there just around uh, appeals process um, if um, parents wanted to go down that route if they didn't get a place um, at the school. However, the most important thing to take from today is if you are looking for a place for your child at Skipton Gills High School for September 2022, you must register for the selection testing and that needs to happen by Wednesday, uh, sorry, Monday the 30th of August. And so all that's on the website. If you have any more queries, there's lots of information on the website under the admissions bit, um, but you can also admit, uh, email uh, Claire Whitaker, who's uh, the, the, the person at school who deals with admissions. Um, you can contact her by admissions at sghs.org.uk and she'll be able to answer any further questions you have. Okay, thank you.